If you want to spice up the interior of your 2024 Mustang, then go ahead and pick up this RTR shift knob. This shift knob is actually going to work for all of the automatic 24 Mustangs, and we're going to show you how to install it today. We're now inside the interior of our RTR build, and it's time to install the RTR shift knob for the automatic transmission. First thing we need to do is pop this trim cover off here, but we need to put the vehicle in neutral. So to do that, we're gonna turn our accessories on. And then after you turn the accessories on, press the brake in and pull it back to the neutral position and shut your accessories off so you don't kill the battery. First thing we're gonna do is actually take out this pad here to make it a little bit easier to get a grip on the cover. And now the cover's off, just held in by clips. After you get the cover out of the clips here, pull it up and there's going to be two Phillips head screws on the front of the shifter that you're going to want to loosen. Make sure to not drop these. And if you want to be extra safe, throw a rag around here. That way, if you do drop them, they're just going to fall into the rag and not the transmission. One Phillips screw on the bottom and one on the top. After you remove the two Phillips head screws, you can pull the shifter off. Inside the bottom of the shifter here, there's going to be two black tabs that you're gonna to wanna to push down simultaneously to release this locking clip. After we do that, we can then separate everything. Fortunately, it's a little hard to see, so I won't be able to get a good camera angle of it. All right, so I got both sides to release finally, and then when doing so, you can just separate the shift boot from the actual shifter itself. Now before installing our new RTR shift knob, we are going to remove this cap, which is just held on by glue. So just pull it back. Set that off to the side, we won't be reusing it. And then grab your new RTR shift knob, slide it up through the bottom here. going to want to push the shift knob through. It's going to be pretty hard at first. A pick tool may come in handy to try to get the boot over the actual shift knob. Then you're going to want to pull it down to where the hole is showing. You actually feel there's like a little groove as you pull the boot over on the shift knob. And where that groove is, you're gonna take the supplied zip tie and just tighten that down there. Before tightening down the zip tie, just make sure you have the RTR knob facing you. If you look on the inside, this middle hole will actually line up here with this patch of fabric. Before we install our RTR shift knob, we're going to install the supplied collar in the kit. Get this lined up. Again, use the second and fourth hole. We're now gonna put our spring on, and then we're going to put some grease on some of these contact points, and they provide grease in the kit. Highly recommend to wear gloves when applying this grease, because it does get messy quick. All right, so we're just gonna grease all the contact points here. Kind of get it down in the middle there as well. Make sure nice, make sure everything's nice and greased up. Okay, set your grease off to the side. Grab your shifter. So I cut off the end of our zip tie here and then we're gonna grab the last screw that's in the kit. And we're just going to start this. We're not gonna put it all the way in yet. Just enough where so it's not going to fall out. Then grab your new shift knob and put it on the shift assembly. And you're going to want to line up that screw with the hole on the collar you installed. 
once you get it lined up, tighten it down. By putting this screw in, it's going to limit the travel of the shifter, so nothing gets messed up. Make sure it's nice and tight. And now we're gonna start reassembling everything. Once you put all your panels back in, you're all set and ready to go. Just make sure to put your vehicle back in the park. So we got the RTR shift knob installed for the automatic transmission. If you give yourself about 20 minutes, you should have no problems at all getting it done in that amount of time. I am going to leave a link down below in the description for the shift knob if you'd like to purchase one. But it's time to drop a gear and disappear, and we'll catch you on the next one.